Today I want to show you some Echo Print paper bundles that I have listed on my website, bookandpaperarts.com. And each one of these is a little bit different. They're all handmade, they're all unique. So I want to unwrap one and show you what they're like. But uh, please stick with me because after that, after the un unwrapping, I am going to show you some ways that you can use Echo prints in your own mixed media work. So I use autumn leaves to make these. And these are from last year's batch. And I collected these leaves at a park here in Wales. And frankly, I am trying to pass these along because I want to make room for this coming year's batch. Now let's look at a couple of ways that you can use these yourself. I like to make pockets in my mixed media work like this. This is one of my altered books and you can make a pocket using one of these by what I've done is cut this asymmetrically and then you glue down this side and this side and now hey presto you have a pocket for your goodies like this handmade tag which is a good way to use any little scrap pieces that you have over here I've got I've used an echo print for a background in some collage work. Let's see. They make very charming bookmarks. I use these all the time. And here's a variety of mini books that I have made. Mini, not many, mini. This is one using a Turkish map fold. And when you open it, you see all this gorgeous stuff. And here's a smaller version that I have not bound yet. This is a mini accordion book. And it has pockets that you can put little tags in or what you will. Let's see. This is a palm-sized blank book, a little journal that I filled with some tea dyed pages. You could add a lot more pages and I didn't even sew this one. I just used a hole punch to put some holes and then I uh, used a little bit of silk here, ribbon, to hold the thing together. And finally I have an art book that I made. And this is using just irregular sizes and shapes, some gauze, some rust dyed cheesecloth, and different size pages. And it's just a unique little piece there. If you would like to ask me a question, please put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to get back to you. If you'd like to make your own Echo Prints, below here I've put a link to a couple of written tutorials on my website that will help get you jump started. Finally, if you like this, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment because YouTube will like me better if you do. Until next Friday, get up and go make something.